Hey guys and welcome to episode number 15 of our Cloud of City career mode here on FIFA 18. If you guys are enjoying the series so far make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and there's a link to the playlist as well in the description and to the last episode if you guys want to go and check that out. Now, last episode, if you have seen it then you would have known that we beat Manchester United uh, in the FA Cup and then went on to beat Chelsea in the next round at Stamford Bridge which is a great win for us. Uh, but then we did manage to lose against Sheffield Wednesday in the league, unfortunately. But um, it's good that we've gone through the FA Cup. We've done our objective, which is reach around the 32. And uh, we've got some extra prize money from doing that. So that's good news for us. Uh, you can see on the screen here that we've got three players uh, in the centre-back, left midfield and right midfield positions. The uh, reason they're there is because uh, their contracts are expiring. And it'd be nice to try and get these players in, especially uh, Vadillo, this guy here, uh, the left midfielder, because even though he has a release clause, I don't think it affects his uh, pre-contract because his contract's expiring. So uh, with Hoylet leaving at the end of the season, uh, we will be a left midfielder short. We will have Orgy and Ox, but they're just not up to standards yet with the team. They're still uh, bench warmers, I guess. They come on off the bench when Hoylet gets tired. Uh, and Vidillo seems like the guy who can uh, take that position from him. Being 23 years old, so he's, as long as you can get from a pre-contract player, 71 overall, which is one rating lower than Hoylet, and he's quick. I'll see if I can find his stats here. There we are. So he's got 92 sprint speed, 90 acceleration, 88 agility, which is nice. Um, and then he's got some good ball control. His crossing's decent, good dribbling, finishing's decent as well. So it'd be nice to get him in the team, and we're going to try and approach to sign him straight away. Hopefully, uh, we can sign him. He would be a crucial player, I think. Yep, yeah, great. Three years, brilliant, I'll take that. Oh, does he want a release clause? Salary. Well, he's on 5,300 a week at the moment. I'd like to offer him 6,000 a week. Four thousand eight hundred per week is as low as you can go. We're looking for a signing bonus of 73,000 pounds and a bonus of 190,000 pounds when he scores 20 goals. Uh, do you know what? I will accept that. Another guy I want to bring in is Andy Polo. Um, first of all, it's a, I know it's an odd name and you probably have never heard of him, uh, but I was just doing some research, some scouting, and I managed to find him, a right midfielder, who's 23 years old, his contract ex is expiring, because he's in, uh, in I think it's the Peruvian League or the Colombian League, one of those two, his wages are pretty low, so that's good, and uh, his contract is expiring, I think I mentioned that, and if you can see his skill moves in weak foot, so he's got four star, four star, and he's got like 89 pace. So why wouldn't I want to sign him up? We're going to try and get him on a pre-contract as well, hopefully. There's Andy Polo there. Uh, important first team, yeah, I'll accept that. Uh, three years, yeah, I'll accept three years. What else have we got? Release close. Is looking to add one, neither am I. Uh, 140,000 pounds signing bonus, and once he makes 15 appearances, oh, 9,900 a week. Oh, I'll, I'm gonna lower the wage to about 8,500. See if he accepts that. Nine thousand five hundred. That's better. Do you know, I'll take that. I will accept it. So there we are. Vadillo is coming to Cardiff for free. Oh, my club. So there we go. So we've got Vadillo, a left midfielder, uh, coming on a pre-contract. Polo is also coming in. Peltier is leaving to Bolton, I think. Hoylet, I think, is joining QPR. Bamba is going to QPR. Mowald is coming here. 
Pelupacy has come in here. Richards has gone to Nottingham Forest. I thought I forgot that I sell him, that I sold him. Uh, Kadeem Harris has gone to Sheffield United. Uh, Jean Vier is coming in. Eisfeld is coming in. Murphy's gone. And I think that's it. So we've got one, two, three, four five six players coming in on a pre-contract so that's great news and possibly one more so I have a transfer offer here from Birmingham City for Sean Morrison and we're just gonna reject hang on can we block offers yeah let's block offers yeah not gonna bother uh, we don't want to sell him at the moment we can sell him next season maybe uh, we'll see on who we get in so our first game of this episode is at home to Bolton Wanderers. Uh, it should be a win, a must-win game, uh, especially with the form of Rolls, Hoylet. I was going to say Chaplin as well. Chaplin's got good form as well, but he's injured for another six, so, no, I think it's about ten days left until he's back or something like that. Uh, but we've got Catroni as well, who's been in good form since, since we've been using him. So uh, yeah, it's Cardiff against Bolton. Mendes Lang. Oh, into Catrone. Patrick Catrone and it's 1-0. In the 8th minute, Patrick Catrone opening his account for this game. I don't know what happened with the Bolton defence then. They just seem to like clash into each other or something. You can see here, the two centre-backs, oh, they just they were just too close to each other. Give him the space. And Catrone finishes it. And it's 1-0 to Cardiff City. Chance for Bolton. Oh, it's somehow it's gone in. Uh, we couldn't clear it at all. This ball came across. And uh, I think it fell to Damore, who I, I was spamming circle to clear it, but he just didn't clear it. And Bolton have equalised. Menes Lang. This time finding Controne. Patrick Controne with a shot. He's hit the post. And there's a half time whistle. It's one all at the break. Uh, just hitting the post there with Controne on his weaker foot. Uh, showing that he can actually use it. Controne. Into rolls. Finds it through to Mendes Lang. And it's 2 1. Good run there from Nathaniel Mendes Lang, picked out by, I think it was Rawls, either Rawls or Catrone, and he squeezed it past the goalkeeper, and we take the lead here at the Cardiff City Stadium, let's have a look, it's Joe Rawls, oh it is Joe Rawls, finds Mendes Lang, and puts it into the far corner, with a little deflection off the goalkeeper's hand, but it's 2-1 to Cardiff City. Maggio. Maggiore with a through ball to Catrone and it's 3 1. What a beautiful pass that was. And Catrone scores and makes the advantage 2. Well, he adds the advantage and gets us a two goal lead against Bolton. Look at this. Look at that for a through ball. And a good finish as well from Catrone. It's 3 1 to Cardiff. Oh, it's a big mistake there from the defender. Neves giving it to Catroni for his hat-trick. Catroni and his 4-1. And there's his hat-trick. And we lead 4-1. They're sending all the defenders up the pitch to try and get a goal. But when they make a mistake like that, then they should just not do it because we take advantage of it and Catroni gets his hat-trick it's 4-1 and there's a full-time whistle it's a 4-1 victory for Cardiff City what a start to the episode and what a start for Catroni little known fact he's got more hat-tricks than Connor Chaplin <laughs> but not as much as Joe Rawls I think Joe Rawls has got at least one um, I'm not sure if he's got two. He might have two. I don't know. Um, but yeah, great win for us. Three points.
So now it's deadline day uh, in the January transfer window after our game against Bolton Wanderers. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a chance offer as soon as possible for uh, for Kenneth Zahori. It would be nice. We need that money. Chance offer for Joe Rolls from Aston Villa. Uh, we're going to block offers. Joe Rolls is not for sale. I'm sorry about that. So that's deadline day over with. Uh, couldn't sell Zahori, unfortunately. We did get an offer. We accepted it. But um, it just didn't work out for him, apparently. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's an extra three or four million that we could have used. But that's fine. Uh, we got some pre-contact uh, pre players signed for next season, which I can't wait to use. So one day after deadline day, or two days after deadline day, we get a chance offer for Kenneth Zahori from Bournemouth, offering £3.85 million. Pounds. Um, so we'll see now what his offer... His value is three point eight million pounds. If we can try and get four million pounds out of them, uh, we will accept it. And we'll see now if if uh, Zahori will actually go. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna change this to four million pounds and see what Bournemouth say about that. They've accepted it. Good news. So it's just now up to get Zahori to see if he wants to leave the club or not because he's unhappy not getting games I don't see why he wants to stay here to be honest so we get a monthly scouting report from Brazil here Edson Rice uh, we scouted him last month and uh, he doesn't seem to have improved much so we're just going to reject him Alfonso Cabral going to reject him Igor Cardozo going to reject him and Fabio Ribeiro going to reject him also so no one good there from that month scouting report I just don't understand Kenneth Zahori, honestly. Um, the transfer talks have broken down. And they just couldn't agree on terms, apparently. So, looks like Zahori's staying for longer. So, we've got a transfer offer here for Oliver Byrne um, from, who is it, Bray Wanderers or something? Yeah, Bray Wanderers. And, you know, I'm just going to straight up accept it because uh, accepted the two... We accepted two different offers for a year-long loan, or a season-long loan, and he's not accepted them, so he's probably not going to accept this either. Um, but we're going to accept this transfer for him to go to Bray Wanderers in Ireland. So our second game of the episode is going to be away against Millwall at the Den. Um, I think this is going to be the last one of the episode, though, with all this transfer stuff that we've had going on. Um, so, yeah, sorry about not having three games, but next episode it should be back to normal because uh, we have another FA Cup game, but we're just focusing on this game at the moment. It's Millwall versus Cardiff City. It's been cleared out wide to Hoylet, and there's the half-time whistle. The half whistle. Nil -nil at the break. And if it's nil-nil at the half-time interval. Given out wide to Patterson. Into Chaplin. Connor Chaplin into Joe Rolls, and it's 1-0. Beautiful build at play there between the lads. And it's 1 0 to Cardiff City. Draw rolls again on the score sheet. Can't stop scoring this fella. And look at this build at play. Chaplin, fake shot, takes the defenders away, sees rolls in space, and finishes it nicely. It's 1 0 to Cardiff. Orgy now. Into Neves, finds Philip Ox. Can he make it too? No, he's. Oh, he just couldn't finish it. Archer again with the save. Ox whipping the ball in. It's fallen to Aquile Manga. It's been punched up in the air. Patterson with the shot. And there's a the full time whistle. We scrape a 1 0 victory against Millwall. And uh, it's three points. And that's going gonna, gonna to be the end of this episode. So that is the end of this episode. Uh, we close in our, uh, our gap two wolves to three points now so and we've got to play him again as well so uh we're getting closer and closer to that title so thank you guys for watching this episode make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one